Hey Nemo, what's up? Hey there, um, I just wanted to do a really quick little mini haul of a couple of fun things that I just picked up recently. Uh, first of all, I love crayons and I have this in box of 96. You can see that I have a rubber band to keep it closed. This box is absolutely falling apart. Um, it probably even needs to be taped up together. But while I was out shopping this week, I stopped into um, Office Depot and they had these cute little hard plastic crayon boxes, which I think are brilliant. Um, they only hold 24 crayons, which is, this is a 24 set that I have in here. And unfortunately, I was going to buy a ton of these. I only found one box. They came in different colors, but the only one they had was, I guess this is like a, I don't know, red, pink, orange, I don't know. I don't really care. I'm probably just going to put stickers or something all over it, but um, it was only one dollar and I was going to buy a bunch of them. Like I wanted to buy enough to hold all my crayons, so I was going to get a few of them for a dollar. I mean, oh my gosh, so great. But this was the only one left in the store, so I'm going to have to try to um, figure out where to get more, but this I'm very excited about it. It's really great. It will protect my crayons nicely while I toss them into my my art bag and it's so great. Um, another thing I found at Office Depot, uh, I love reinforcement, um, round reinforcement labels anyway, but these are donuts. Oh my gosh, how cute are they? And because it's back to school time, they were on sale. This pack was only $2, which is much more than the plain white, um, which I think, well, actually, they're probably maybe about the same price for the plain white because these were on sale. I think they were regularly like $4, $5, something like that. But 280 tiny little donut reinforcement stickers. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. They're the cutest. Um, another thing I picked up, these are quite cheesy, but... I saw them and I fell in love with them. I got these at Five Below. They are uh, unicorn paint brushes. So look at that. They have rainbow bristles, just like a unicorn's mane. And then of course the handle is a beautiful like twisted white probably acrylic plastic something uh, unicorn horn looking thing oh my gosh they're so cute these were five bucks for the whole set I'm sure they're not great brushes um, but oh my gosh how cute are they I'm so excited I just love them uh, anyway that's it um, I just wanted to pop in quick and show you guys these because I thought all this stuff was so great so anyway I hope you're having a great week and I will see you soon thanks Hi everyone! So here's just a quick video of me working on my daily journal. Um, I had already sketched out this little drawing and I, you'll just see me here doing some uh, watercolor. Uh, this is just a little picture. My, my husband and I started going to the gym and actually lifting weights in the last couple of weeks. So this is uh, just a little sketch I did of me uh, holding um, a heat pack up to my neck because uh, it turns out weightlifting is painful. <laughs> Who knew? Uh, I am using my Daler Rowney uh, Aquafine travel set, which is a great watercolor palette. If you're interested in um, a new watercolor palette, I, I really, really like this one. Um, the watercolor paints have kind of a different texture. They're a little bit thicker than you know, your your typical palette, um, almost like a syrupy kind of texture, but I really enjoy them. I think they work great. I, I love this palette because it has, I think it's the 24 set. It's round. Uh, it's got all the colors I I need. Um, I, I do wish it had more white because I do use a lot of white uh, because I mix up a lot of different colors and I, I tend to lighten them up a lot. But I am also using my new uh, unicorn paintbrush here. You can see right there is a nice shot of it. Um, again, it's not it's not a great brush, but it's certainly fun to use. Uh, I really like it. So, uh, yeah. So this is just a little quickie. This is kind of a you know gives you an idea of what my daily journals are like. Um, I didn't I didn't record the sketching of this little picture, but. Um, 
obviously uh, that's what the what and I, I didn't record the inking either but so there I'm just adding the date and then I I just sort of add some splatters with uh, watercolor paint I do cover up the image there so that I don't get uh, paint splatters on my my little cartoon face but um, yeah so just the same colors I used in the the sketch I did a little watercolor background and then here's an image of just what that page looks like when it's finished Okay, here we are uh, on Wednesday. Uh, my girlfriend and I went out to a local brewery and uh, they do this uh, crafty deal every Wednesday night where they do a different craft. You pay uh, a fee and you get a beer and then all the supplies to do the craft. So this week it was alcohol ink coasters. And um, you can see here that I'm adding the Tim Holtz alcohol inks uh, to the top of my coaster. You put a layer of rubbing alcohol down on top of the coaster first. And you can see I chose like a selection of kind of fall colors here. And then I'm moving those pigments around there. You can see I'm blowing through a straw to kind of move them around and get them to blend and kind of get the effects I wanted. Um, I really really liked this project this was my first time doing it it's really fun um, it's so fun you can see I'm adding more inks now um, and I think they turned out so great you'll see uh, a couple of images of the my finished coasters here towards the end but you know then you can go in and um, I'm blowing them around again but you can also add more alcohol to sort of spread them out and that gives you kind of different effects and it was just really fun we had a great time doing this um, and then you just sort of uh, finish them off with a coat of clear acrylic. I think we did two coats just to make sure they were nice and sealed and then you let that dry uh, until it's completely done. Now another thing we did was we uh, actually just used black sharpie to finish off the um, the four edges so that it kind of just gives it a little bit more of a finished look. Uh, but this was really fun. I liked it a lot. Um, I always have fun at these little crafty nights at the brewery. But here's a, a couple of images of my finished coasters so you can take a look at those. They turned out so great. Here is just another video of me working on my daily journal. Um, I'm way behind, so I think I'm actually, this is uh, Sunday, and I'm working on the page for this last Monday. Uh, but you can see I am just doing a really uh, sketchy, quick pineapple. Um, in my daily journal, I don't usually stress too much about, you know, making perfect drawings and sketches. I really am just trying to kind of give the idea of what my day is like and do a quick drawing. So that's my quick sketchy pineapple. And I am using my Secura Koi watercolor palette, which is a, it's a fine palette. I find that it dries a little bit chalky uh, than some other palettes, but it's, it's pretty good. So I am just working on the leaves here, um, adding some different um, green tones to it. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way this ended up turning out. I think it looks um, it looks pretty cool. I did some I did some nice shading on it. Um, I add a, I do the watercolor and then I add a little bit of pencil as well. So um, usually during the week I have some time to work in my art journal as well. But this week just uh, it just wasn't in the cards. Um, I just was too busy and I didn't get a chance. So I you know I barely was able to keep up on my. Uh, daily journal. As you can see, I'm still working on um, Monday, Labor Day, uh, September 3rd. So uh, I'm just doing a little watercolor background here. Um, nothing special, still using that Secure Koi palette. And once I finish this, um, I think I am going to go ahead and dry it. And then I get my, yeah, there we go, my paint covered hair dryer. Then I get my pencils out and um, just add a little bit of depth here and there, um, just for fun. So you can see how sketchy that is. Again, I don't worry about making, you know, perfect drawings for my sketchbook. But um, so that's about it for this week. I am going to go ahead and get this uploaded, and I will add a picture of how this page turned out uh, just after this. You'll see the finished. Um, but there I go putting the title on with marker. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great week. I'll see you soon.